I wasn't like stalking. He was really you. pining over me for years. <clears throat> it worked out. <laughs> it did. We're here to witness the spiritual union of DJ Baker and Daniel Arms. Well, if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't know each other, first of all, because... Is it recording? Ready to go! <laughs> Are you starting it? What? Hey guys, fine, I guess I'm starting it. <laughs> um, uh, so we are back for podcast number two. Two? Number two. And... Uh, we did it. We didn't quit after one. <laughs> yeah. We might shut up. I don't know. Uh, okay. So I got a ton of emails um, and pretty much the gist of most of them, the topic that everyone, everyone wanted to know about is how we met. <sighs> Are you prepared for this journey? I'm prepared for the journey. <laughs> I'm prepared. So I'm, I'm trying to make a commitment to not over talk. Yeah, you got in trouble. DJ. You, you got in trouble quite a few times. Yes, maybe. <laughs> this is a DJ show. Yeah. No, but for, I, I, you can tell we're we're actually in our house. We were going to do the podcast every week. I don't even know if I want to call it a podcast, really. I know. It's the DJ show. It's just chat. We're going to do the DJ show. Um, the studio, to me, just felt like... A little too businessy. It felt too formal. Yeah. yeah it felt like yeah. we were in a news studio and yeah. reporting the news from the Arms <laughs> Family Homestead. I don't know. It just didn't feel us. We were going to sit on the porch and do this. We just couldn't, eh. And now there's planes going over and all the audio issues. So, sitting in our living room, DJ wants to tell the story of us. So, we sit in front of our life-size family portrait back here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, okay, so, do you want to start? Okay, so. So, okay, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> So, um, as I've mentioned before, I had Weston before Daniel and I met, and we were both in college. Um, I guess I should start a little further back. Yeah, maybe you should. It's go just like kind of choppy because we didn't really <coughs> know each other until we were in college. But, but he knew me, <laughs> knew who I was when we were in high school. That's right. I'm like burning inside wanting to talk. Then talk. You can interject on this. <laughs> well, see, when we were in high school, Dusty, her brother, was two years behind me, and she was two years ahead of me. I went to the same high school, the same junior high, intermediate school, elementary school, K through 12, my entire life. Okay? She moved here when she was a freshman. Mm -hmm. Girls never look down. They always look up. And I was down. So, I remember her because this older guy that was not in school used to come pick her up for lunch. And it used to tick me off. What's this old dude doing picking you up for lunch? But then you graduated and went on and that was it. Yes. Yes. I wasn't like stalking. He was DJ. really pining over me for years. <clears throat> it worked out. <laughs> it did. Okay, so... Uh, then, um, so fast forward, I have Weston, we're in college, and during the summers, um, Dusty, my brother, from Cross Timbers Bison, and Daniel worked together in our park. Um, in a national park. National park that, you know, we have right up the road from us. And one day, uh, I worked at a bank then, and my brother came by in my, to pick up my car, to take it to get the oil change for me on his lunch break. And this guy was with him. And I'll never forget, uh, <laughs> one of the, the older ladies I was working with, you know, <clears throat> we always talked about our relationships and friendships. And she said, you know, uh, that guy with, with your brother's pretty cute. And I was like, yeah, he was, but he's too young. He's and, too young. Well, I thought he was my brother's age. I thought he was four years younger than me, and that was just like a no go. That would that would be weird to me. And so she was like, "Well, you've dated the older ones, and those aren't working out for you. So maybe <laughs> you she should." She had a point. She did have a point. Um, so anyway, uh, then nothing came out of that moment. Uh, well, there were some things that came out of that moment <laughs> in the car. Oh. When 
I, you know, not I mean not in that moment, but I'd give Dusty a hard time about his sister. I'd be like, hey, your sister's pretty hot. And he'd go, <laughs> shut up, shut up. I don't, you don't even know. No, no, shut up. Yeah. I mean, that went on for a couple summers, honestly. Like, because we worked together for a couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Dusty was like, no, 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 no. So we went to lunch. Dusty and I went to lunch one day and their mom was working there. We used to have a, a big livestock sale every week in town and there was a cafe in there. And she was working in there as a waitress at the time, just one day a week, like a part-time job. Mm -hmm. And I'd known Dusty's mom for a long time. I knew their whole family. Yeah. Cause they showed together in high yeah, school. Yeah. We showed too. livestock. Yeah. And uh, so I knew him and we go sit down and Donna says, when are you going to take my daughter out on a date? And Dusty got mad. He's like, no, mom, no, not happening. No, no. Yeah. And uh, then a different day, we went to lunch at Mazio's. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Me and Dusty went to lunch at Mazio's and we were going to meet his sister there for lunch. So I'm like, hey, Dusty, how about your sister? She's pretty cute. You know, we go in and the first thing she does is, hey, have you seen my new tattoo? And it's on her back, you know. She's a she's a '90s girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's throwing all my trash out there. It's hey. fine. <laughs> I didn't call it a tramp stamp. Whatever. You just had a lower oh back tattoo, God. and you had to show me. So yeah. Dusty got mad again, and I think it was that day, or maybe it a different. Was a few di days later. A few days later, mm -hmm. Dusty and I are at work, and his phone rings. Okay, and he answers, and he's talking, and I'm in the passenger seat of this truck. We're driving down the road. Or I might have been driving. I don't know. One of us, was, we're in a truck together. And uh, I hear Dusty say, no, no, DJ, no. And he gets like, ah. And then finally he's like, she wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. So my mom on the other end of that said, you need to call him. You need to call him. It, it, just invite him over for supper. You yeah. know, we can meet at my house and we can have dinner. And uh, you know what you said on the phone that day? You remember? No. You said, when are you going to take me out on a date? Oh, yeah, I did say that. And I was like, uh... <laughs> well, my mom was over here just in my ear and <laughs> peer pressured me. And uh, <laughs> so, anyway, then a few days later, that day, was it that day? It might have been that day. He uh, came to mom's for dinner. Well, when Dusty got home from work. Oh, yeah, y'all invited me to the house yeah, to eat. We just met at mom's house. Dusty was <laughs> staying there because he was home from the summer for college, you know. And um, Dusty was asleep. He took a nap like yeah, he always does. Yeah, he's a napper, that guy. And <laughs> Daniel came over. And so when Dusty wakes up, Daniel's there. Sitting in the living room <laughs> like I own the place. <laughs> yeah. And Dusty was very confused. It was very fun watching yeah. that. He was like, what are you doing here? He was so uncomfortable. Why are, why are you here? <laughs> Yeah. And we were friends, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he was not comfortable with the idea of me getting close to his sister. No, he was not. And, uh, uh, and that's just where it happened. Magic sparks flew at mom's house. It, it did. It did. Um, yeah. So Weston was three. He just turned three. Mm -hmm. And um, then, I mean, we were both in college. We were both in our... You were in your senior year. I was year. in my senior year. I was year in my college. senior year. Yeah. Yeah, I was in my senior year too. And um, then what would have been the next? He got he got accepted into Well, the, yeah, I mean, we're not going to try to make this a no. three-hour story, but no. basically fast forward several months, I got accepted into patrol school. Well, while I was going through the application process to become a trooper, my dad had cancer and had passed away from cancer, um, got accepted into patrol school. You got accepted before he passed. I don't think so. Yeah. Because it was that was in December, and I don't think I got my letter until like. Right. Okay. Either way. Yeah. So that whole crazy mess yeah. we were planning, I'd actually proposed. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Why not? No, let's talk throw, about let's that. Let's throw out so your like, romantic side. We got engaged. Side. No, no, you have to tell the story. I proposed. I had a <laughs> ring picked out. I just. Hadn't had it bought yet. No, that's not really how I'll it I'll let you went. pick out a ring. Anyways, we got engaged. Why don't you want to tell that store. story? We got engaged you in a jewelry store. You told about my tramp stamp. In the mall. Really? Yeah. <laughs> she picked out the ring. We were just looking. I said, 
Well then, let's get married. Anyways, so we were gonna like That's what I have to we were gonna wait like a full year after the engagement before we got married because of patrol school and the academy and all that, and we realized we we're gonna have a like a six month academy and then basically another six months of on the job one on one training, and then it was it was just gonna be chaos. Plus, we didn't know where we were gonna, we were gonna move to. And I was doing my student teaching. And the patrol was very <clears throat> frowning, very much frowning upon us living together after I became a trooper and moving, if I got moved to the other side of the state or something. So we decided to bump the wedding up mm -hmm. very, very soon, very, so very in, fast. In March, we decided to get married in May mm -hmm. instead of what would have been September? Yeah, September, October. October. Yeah. Well, it was going to be before deer season because deer season yeah, started that October was 1st. Yeah, she wanted to get married in the fall. I said, as long as it's not during deer season, because you will regret that every year, because I'll get in trouble, and you'll get mad, and let's just avoid a sticky mess. Yes. So, within a year of us dating, meeting, dating, we were married. A lot happened in a year. A lot happened in a year. Like, my dad passed away. I graduated college. You were finishing up, almost finished with college. Yeah, I, was doing I started finishing. patrol school. And was gone. Like we got married and on May 26th. Mm -hmm. See that, guys? <laughs> got married on May 26th, and then on May 31st, I left for the academy for four months. Yeah, four months. And sixteen weeks. Sixteen weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Not four months and sixteen weeks. But no. Yeah. Anyways, so it was chaos, and she got to buy a house and move us and all these things on her own. Oh yeah. But anyway, so on our the day we got married at our, our wedding night, I want to talk about this. Oh, jeez. Because we we weren't uh, YouTubers back then. But <laughs> no. we were YouTubers in training oh. and didn't know it. <laughs> because we have a video. If we can find some clips, we're going to roll some clips here. Because Dusty swore up and down that I wasn't going to date his sister. Okay, mm -hmm. So we had a friend like video our wedding, and it was very... Um, not professional. No. We did not hire a videographer. <laughs> no. We just said, hey, here's a camcorder. Hold this and point it at people. Yeah. And so she filmed the ceremony and all that. And then we had our, what's it called? Reception. Reception. Mm -hmm. After the ceremony at a different spot. And so they had this idea, we're going to interview everybody. It wasn't us. Like we had nothing to do with mm -mm. it. But they were like, hey, is there anything you want to say to the, the newlyweds? And... <laughs> Is suddenly it's everybody's plan that we were going to get married. Yeah, yeah. It was their fault. It yeah. was all because of them. Now, I knew Donna, my mother-in-law, was going to take all the credit. And, of course, she did. She said it was all her, it was all her fault, and it was all her, and, and I'm going to keep that video forever. She will forever know this was her plan. Mm -hmm. But we got video proof of Dusty saying, well, they wouldn't be together if it wasn't for me. This was all my idea, pretty much. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old baby face Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought Daniel, David Arms, me and my brother. So, you know, I mean, was it my plan? Was it your plan? Was it your mom's plan? Was it Dusty's plan? No, it was, it was just was God's, God's plan. plan. I mean, it was just mm -hmm. crazy how it worked out. I mean, yeah. we met in college, and I, I, I really feel like both of us were nearing the end of college. Yeah. And I was, I was at a very difficult stage in my life. And I know 100% for a fact, and I truly believe this, that, that God sent DJ 
into my life at the perfect time when I needed somebody there because I was fixing to lose my dad. And I, I don't know what I'd have done without her. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not crying. Dang it, Daniel. <laughs> I mean, it's just the truth. That when you look back over the years, it's just, there's no other way to describe it because, I mean, you came into my life at when I needed somebody the most and uh, sure made everything Aww, easier. Oh, I love you. <laughs> love you. So, <clears throat> anyways, there's the story of Dang it. how we met up until we got married and now I'm sitting over here crying like a baby. Why do you make me cry on video like this? <laughs> Don't. Dang it. I'm usually the crier. Uh, so, mm. get bag. now I feel like Lester. <laughs> Lester <laughs> crying all the time. Oh, oh my gosh. Anyways, so, that's how we met. That's you know, our wedding was nothing extravagant. We mm -hmm. pretty much paid for everything ourselves in college. And mm -hmm. minus like the food at the reception, I think your dad paid for that. And a few little things here and there. But we didn't have a big extravagant wedding. And yeah. it was still awesome. It was great. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, the one thing about that morning, though, Weston, um, was he just turned four. And he woke up running fever. And he was sick as he could be, and he was in the wedding, <laughs> obviously. And uh, my uh, my sweet nanny, she uh, and by nanny I mean my grandma. We we did not have a nanny, but <laughs> people have mistaken that before. So yeah. I want to clarify. Um, my my grandma uh, doped him up really good <laughs> for us. And uh, anyway, he he made it through it just barely. Just barely. Just barely. Um, okay, so now um, I pulled some questions from the emails, um, and we I feel like we touched on it just a tad on one of them, but the first so one... So, before you get into the questions, in case you missed the first episode, um, we're, this is kind of like going to be a Wait, weekly well, thing, we hope, mm -hmm. and we set up an email specifically for the Q&A. We're going to do a little Q&A on this thing every week, so afhpodcast at yahoo.com Yahoo. yes. <laughs> if you have any questions. For DJ specifically, or topics, or topics yeah. that you want us to address or talk about, we have zero like plans for what this is all going to look like. We're just kind of going to roll with it and see how it grows and does, and what we talk about and topics, and basically what you guys want to know about us. I mean, we've been yeah. on YouTube for a long time, and it's hard for unless you follow from the beginning and caught snippets here and there. Mm -hmm. Other people jump on all the time and want to know certain things, so. And this be may not be for everyone. No, you know? no, I absolutely mean, not. So we get that, and one of these days it might turn into, you know, a different channel. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Lightning don't strike me. So, uh, okay. DJ just said something about a, another YouTube channel. I mean, you never know. We will see. Yes, yeah, so toward the end, after we, you know, talk about our topic, um, I'm going to answer some questions, some specific questions from fans that emailed in. Um, so the first one, a good friend of ours. Oh, yeah. Ed. Ed. Yes. Ed Kirkpatrick. Yes. His question was, of course, how did we meet? That was one of them. Um, but then it said, he said, what did you think of each other? <sighs> she swept me off my feet. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> It's kind of a hard question to answer, but... Yeah, I mean, obviously we thought quite a bit of each other or we wouldn't still be here. Um, I, it's not like we just randomly met at a bar or we randomly met in class. Like, like I feel like I knew... We knew who each other were. For a long time. Yes. Like, now, I will say this. When we first started dating, she did ask me, so when did you move to Sulphur? Because you weren't there when I was in school. <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> and I told her all the details. Yeah. Anyways, so she didn't know me then, but after like, we, you know, once Dusty and I were working together, we knew of each other, and I knew all about DJ, and there was no Facebook at the time. It wasn't like I could no. follow her on Facebook. I we mean, couldn't even, could we even text? That was pretty new. Yeah, text. we could text. We could text. Shoot, yeah, we could text. It, but we on our Nokia. No, but we, they cost no, 10 cents no. each. Um, not the Nokia's. We were past that. It was the Motorola flip phones. You got a picture. That is true. Of our first date, that. and we're both on our flip That's phones. That's true. It was. But they cost 10 cents each, so we did not text did, much. No, you didn't. You know, nowadays the kids are like, oh, you left me on red, and you didn't respond. Well, <laughs> used to. That cost 10 cents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 20 cents or a two-way conversation. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so 
I mean, I don't even really know how to answer what did you think of each other. I mean, I think, I mean, like, obviously, I I gave Dusty a hard time and aggravated him because I thought his sister was hot and I wanted to get to know his sister. And <laughs> he took that in a terrible, <laughs> different direction. I was such an innocent, sweet boy. Oh, my and, Lord. And, uh, you know, whatever. But <laughs> I, I thought highly of her and had my eyes on the prize. <laughs> I would say I, I felt, I mean, the same uh, back then, y'all. I'll have to, like, find a picture. But this guy had a goatee, and he was pretty hot. Not that he's not now. All 160 pounds of me. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I didn't reckon, or, like, find interest in him in high school, because he was literally, you 140 know. 140 pounds and six foot This two big <laughs> around and not filled out, not not super attractive. I filled out real nice. <laughs> <You did. laughs> Isn't that a movie quote? You filled out real nice. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. <laughs> uh, and then, um, I don't know, I would just, he's just so kind. That's just so kind, so nice. Um, he tried a little harder back then. <laughs> uh, it didn't come as natural back then. I had to try harder. Yeah, yeah. He was sweeter until we got married. Like, he was romantic. Sweeter's not the right word. But that's out the window. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I even answered this question. Okay, next question. Can you tell us about your faith journey? And I put this in here. This is from Becky. She asked that. Um, and I put this in here because, for me, that's when it started. Seriously. For what is it? Our faith. Like, growing our faith oh, and it becoming okay. our priority. Um, Where's when? When, when, well, when your dad died. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, I grew we up. both, yeah, we both grew up in church. Yeah. As kids. Me. I mean, yeah, I got I mean, saved as a pretty young kid. I couldn't really tell you how old I was. It was a Southern Baptist revival, and you know, one of those preachers up on the stage just hooping and hollering and screaming. And I was like, Well, the stuff he's saying about hell, I'm going down there to talk to these people about because I don't want to go there. <laughs> Southern Baptist revival get loud and crazy, and it was a good service, don't get me wrong. And I got baptized, but I, I, we didn't go to church regularly. Right. Like, my dad went on Easter and Christmas if we were lucky, you know. But he was very, I think he had a strong faith. He just worked on the weekends most of the time. So we didn't grow up in church every week. Yeah, and for me, I mean, we we went all the time um, as young, young kids um, up until I was probably 10-ish. Um, and it just kind of, I don't know, life happens. Parents got divorced, you know, and it just wasn't a priority and then um i didn't really go much you know in my teens and 20s we went to ours on wednesday night at our there's a church in town and i had a big deal on wednesday nights called oasis and it was super fun and it was just a high school it, yeah thing. it was just it was yeah the um wednesday night group yeah teenagers and it was super fun and so i feel like god was always present in my life I just didn't not a priority just not a priority and then you know when he and I started dating um uh, his dad had just found out that he had lung cancer I mean he'd already had several issues with oh, cancer. he'd been battling cancer yeah. off and on for years skin cancer it... and cancer in his jaw and yeah um but then he had just got diagnosed uh with lung cancer in May right when we started dating I think you knew actually before before i don't remember i don't exactly. remember exactly but um and so from may to december was you know the time i got to know him i mean he was a wonderful ornery ornery man this is this is definitely where this one comes by it <laughs> he was extremely ornery um and he, he was the greatest. I did not get much time with him, and I, I miss that. Uh, I wish that we could have, obviously. Things could have been different, but um, I think it was God's plan, and God God needed him, and, uh, you know, I got, to, I got to be there for Daniel, and 
go through all that and, and Phil got to know Weston and he loved that little guy. Oh my gosh, he loved him so much. Mm -hmm. He would call me and say, I'm going to pick him up at Head Start and you can come get him tomorrow. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, so I would say then, um, you know, he lived here in our home. What is our home now? And um, watching, you know, his life just go before us and but getting to be here and be a part of all of that and um it just did something I, I think i mean i know for both of us and uh literally um a few weeks a week later we were in church uh, i worked with a girl and her um, father-in-law ended up being the preacher at this church and married us um, but it, she and I were really good friends and, um, she got us to start going to her church and, uh, we've been there ever since. And, mm -hmm. um, God just, since before we were married. Yeah. Um, and it's been such a blessing, uh, all the way around. I just can't even go back and think of all the times and ways, like even when I, <clears throat> when my parents got divorced or, you know, I think. Even back then, God had a plan. He knew, you know, um, what I was going to need, when I was going to need it. You know, my mom made this joke, you know, uh, after I'd had Weston. She said, you'll never, uh, you'll never uh, have trouble finding someone to love Weston. It will be them finding loving you. <laughs> That'll be the trick. And uh, maybe she knew you were more like her than <laughs> what you believe. Maybe whatever. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I didn't think at the time when Daniel and I started talking. I uh, wouldn't even say dating. We talked on the phone for two or three weeks, probably. I think two weeks before we ever even went out on the. Real date. Yeah, he doesn't remember, but... We were poor broke college kids, so yeah. real dates didn't happen a lot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, but we spent hours on the phone talking, you know, and... Um, hours. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. Hours. Uh, we are like, we got to get this thing rolling quick because <laughs> things are going to happen fast. we got to get to know each other. <laughs> well, he was two years younger than me, and, you know, so I didn't think that he was in a mindset to take on what what I came with and really <laughs> I mean really I, I had a human you know and not every 21 year old uh, you know I wasn't even 21 yet you, yeah you weren't 21 yet and I uh, want to say this out loud but she broke the law I did not the first time we you were went out to a dance facility where alcohol was served oh my i wasn't God. old enough to purchase a beer and she might have bought me one what is wrong with you <laughs> we were 20 21 <laughs> yes we were <laughs> i found me a girl that could buy me beer oh my gosh at the ballroom I can't believe you talk about oversharing hey, jeez it's okay is it next question yeah our preacher's gonna see this then we started going to church and we changed our lives like we you know like, <laughs> okay i wasn't the criminal as much as you seriously <laughs> anyways yeah uh, back on track i don't know where the track is where's the train um so what was i i don't even know what i was saying i don't know i threw you off that's what got us into church that's what got us that's what got the whole thing rolling um i think we kind of summed it up um, Sorry, I cut you off. I'm no, you definitely cut me off, and there was a story there. Mm, but I feel like we've scooted back farther on the ottoman, on our chair. Mm. Anyways. Oh my gosh! I don't know. I'm sorry. It was too funny. I had to share. Sharing is caring. Next question. Moving on. Pause it. Back on track before DJ was rudely interrupted. Yes. Okay. Um, she couldn't remember what she was talking about, so we're moving on. Yeah. Just third third question. Angie wanted to know, outside of farm and kids, what do you and Daniel do for fun? Our kids. <laughs> kids activities. Outside of... Yeah. Yeah. Outside of all of that. Outside like, of I can't. literally everything that we do, we do stuff on the farm. 
take care of our animals, take care of our property, and we chase our kids all of their yeah. activities. Um, you guys pretty much see it, though. That's the thing. Like, I, that's the way I run our YouTube channel. I probably show a lot more than what most farm channels would or whatever. I mean, we bought the razor so we could go do and go, we, yeah. go riding on the side by sides, the UTV stuff, and, and you know, trail riding and stuff. And that's we've only been doing that for like the last year. But it's fun. Like it's it's yeah. a lot of fun. We enjoy that. But we still take our kids. We get our kids involved we've, in that. We've so. not taken them a few times and well, just gone. You know, adults. Yeah. And... But I'm saying like most <laughs> of what we do involves the kids. Right. And um, our our trips. I mean, I just. I mean, I know there's this ongoing you know kind of joke thing about me and the beach, but um, our time is what got that started. You know, uh, the first time we went on a on a trip without our kids was to Pensacola. And um, it was very hard for me. <laughs> I mean, Houston was two and- um, It was rough. It was rough. I, I cried a good portion of the way to Pensacola. It would just like come in waves and hit me. And I felt super guilty uh, for leaving them until I got there and until I relaxed and just, oh my gosh, you need to do that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not saying you need to go to Pensacola, but I'm just saying, or go on a trip. I'm just saying you need to... Just adult time with yes. just some friends. Find some yes. friends and go somewhere for a weekend, even. It's yeah. just such a cool experience. So, I mean, as much as we love our kids, we want our, our relationship to be a priority, and we want our friendships yeah. relationship to be a priority. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do stuff with our friends and their kids all the time, but it's nice to be able to just go do stuff as adults, too. But... Like, what do we do outside of the farm and the kids? We watch YouTube. We watch YouTube. <laughs> Super exciting people The couple here. that YouTubes together <laughs> also watches YouTubes together. And anyways, yeah. Um, we really don't like watch a lot of movies. We don't go to the movies anymore. Nobody really goes to movies anymore. Mm -mm. Thank you, world. Um, we go to one of our favorite restaurants. Try to a couple times a month. Yeah. We we'll have uh, to eat with our friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that's about it. I mean, the 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 beach trips. We were in a pretty good routine of of picking a destination and going somewhere with just an adults trip every year. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to do that last year. Mm -mm. Or the year before, twenty twenty. We didn't. Mm -mm. So it's been a while. Oh, uh, maybe we did. I don't remember. I don't remember, but it seems like it's been forever since it we has. went just on an adults trip. But that is. A ton of fun like we went to Cosmel one time mm -hmm. we've gone to Pensacola a couple times with just friends just yeah. adults and it's just a, a great way to unplug and recharge and you don't have, have to worry a about a kid drowning you don't have to worry about feeding this one or these two fighting and yeah. it's just a, a, a mental breather it's necessary yeah 100%. absolutely but as far as what we do outside of the farm and kids you, if we get something we go and do you guys see it for the most part i mean a lot of it yep are you ready for the last question oh dear linda linda listen linda. linda listen linda this better not be too intense i haven't <laughs> read the questions yet so it is not linda wants to know is freedom ever gonna have her baby yes bye lord i hope so so <clears throat> i don't know she just keeps getting bigger all the time. Freedom the donkey is like twice what Steve the donkey is. <laughs> and I would have thought she would have had a baby a month ago at least. Like, yes. That's what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I really slipped up. I cannot remember when she got bred. I have no idea. Should have wrote it on a calendar when we turned Steve back in with Freedom. But we didn't do it. And... Her belly just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, <laughs> and everybody wants to know. So it, we're just building up to the climax of the story. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, that's the word you said our preacher wasn't allowed to say that's anymore. Right. Was climax. That's the word. Yep. I, I won't even remember what it was the other day. <laughs> yeah. He that said was it. it. <laughs> he said it in a sermon one day, and our whole row was gone. Like nobody could take him serious after that. So I told him he was no longer allowed to say that word in sermons. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I honestly have no clue when Freedom's going to have her baby. Um, the last one was born in September. Yeah. Of 
20. Yes. That's when Cain was born, September of 2020. And I know we kept um, Steve and Freedom separated for several months. And so I was kind of thinking, you know, it should be soon. I had it in my brain because we're, you know, a year and this is January. So what, a year and four months passed? Mm hmm and they're pregnant for, what, nine months? I think right so. Right at nine months? Mm -hmm. We should have a baby any stinking day. But also, you know, we've got a mini Hereford cow that when we bought them, purchased them from the veterinarian <laughs> who preg checked them, he told us that cow right there is going to have a calf in December because they were his cattle and he preg checked her. No we baby. did not have a baby in December, no. and she's not looking super pregnant. Mm -mm. Like we're not getting milk in the udder, and we're not. So I don't know. Like, but it's also the same vet that told us we were only going to have one baby alpaca, and had another one, and we had two. Yeah, because one was supposed to not be pregnant. So, you know, livestock. And we're, we're not good with this stuff. Apparently, <laughs> we're not good with this one's going to have a baby at this time. I'm good with it with the goats. I mean, I usually have that pretty well mapped out. I pretty much hit it. I was within one day this year of kidding when we were going to have our first kids on the ground. Oh, speaking of kids, we got a fun thing coming up. She got a yeah. She got a thing coming up. Me and me and my friends, yeah. It's going to be interesting. I have no part in it. Yes, you do. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> That's about it. So anyway, wrap it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed yep. um, episode two of the DJ podcast show podcast dish show and uh, i don't know we may do some i don't know if we're going to do them in the studio um if we do we may move back to the couch it's just i don't know i kind of like doing like it right it here. here this yeah. is nice in our house and maybe sometimes we can do them outside depending on the weather or something but this feels more us the mm -hmm. studio just didn't feel i agree us and this is more comfortable and it's home yep. we're letting people into our lives we might as well be in our house, right? Might as well. So. Okay. You so. got some cool, like, wrap-up sign-off for the oh, podcast? Oh, oh my gosh. Song of the week. My song of the week. song of the week. That's how we're going to wrap this one up. No, I didn't forget song of the week. I struggle with pronouncing her name. Um, Carrie Underwood. That is not it. Hang on. Oh. Reba McIntyre. <sighs> no. Well, it must be one of these new fancy singers that only has one name. Her, uh, let me find my playlist. DJ is totally prepared every week for I, Song of the Week. I am. Okay, see, I don't know, I don't know how to say her last name. Francesca Badatelli. Bad yeah, God is good. How do you say, isn't that how you say it, Badatelli? Francesca Badatelli, Bad I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to butcher some Francesca. Name. It is Francesca, but it's called God is Good. You gonna tell us about it, or do they just nope. have to go listen? You gotta go listen to you it. You gotta go listen. Yep. So, guys, we're gonna get off here, and as my papa always said, do your best. Do your best, Deej. <laughs>